Life, this is Chance Media and I'm James Williams. Okay, we're going to talk about uh, a property called uh, uh, Cragside, which is in Northumberland, which is north of England, uh, and it's uh, owned by the uh, National Trust. Now, National Trust has been for decades, uh, basically their main goal is to preserve ancient um, buildings and, uh, you know, magnificent uh, scenery, walks and stuff like that. Uh, for the for the benefit of all, it's to stop you know mass building of of uh, housing and factories and that. So preserving beauty, art, uh, and uh, you know, like I say, ancient ancient buildings. So yeah, it's it's done a good job I think over the years. It's come into some uh, bit of flack though recently because uh, and I'll just say. This, this place, Cragside, the uh, Wikipedia description is a fu- Victorian uh, country house near the town of Rothbury in Northumberland. It was the home of William Armstrong, the first Baron Armstrong, founder of the Armstrong Whitworth Armaments Firm. I don't know him personally anyway, but that's basically it. That's the sort of thing that they, uh, they, they look after. And I think they've been uh, in charge of that. Is it 1863? Well, no, I think that, that was when it was opened. Anyway, I don't know if they've been in charge of it since 1863, but you know, for a considerable time they've been managing the property. Anyway, they came under some flat because they had an art exhibition. And in the art exhibition, they decided to uh, cover up uh, all male artefacts, all, all artwork produced by male artists were to be covered up. In- incredible. So, well, wh- why, you might ask? Well, being a, actually, I was a, I'm a member of the National Trust, I'm a life member. I thought this is e- appalling. Well, the newspapers in Britain, are, a lot of them have been all over it as well. So much of this is already covered. I wrote, a, wrote to them and I said, as a life member, I'm absolutely appalled by the report of covering up art at Cragside because the creators were male. Who on earth thought that was ever a good idea? I would have hoped that the National Trust was above identity politics and misandric behaviour that has become all too prevalent in many areas of life. So I got a quick response back, probably because I am a member, I don't know. It said, uh, basically, uh, dear James, thank you for your email and for raising your concerns about our recent exhibition at Cragside. As part of this year's national programming, Women in Power, which marks the centenary of some women being awarded the right of the vote, we are highlighting the history and important stories of the women who shaped the properties now in our care. The exhibition, The Great Cragside Cover-Up, was a continuation of this programming. Interesting that we use programming there. Created by students from Newcastle University. Uh, <laughs> universities have notoriously got this image now of being uh, run by, you know, feminists and uh, and and progressives or regresses as some call them anyway there we go uh, the exhibition saw a small number of statues and portraits of men covered to help shine a light on the women who shaped lord armstrong's work and home uh, this temporary this temporary student exhibition which ran from the 13th of october until the 5th of november was not about censoring art or being politically correct, but to encourage people to look at the collection differently and to stimulate debate. Well, it'd be nice to be able to see the other one so you could uh, compare the two, I would have thought. You know, you could say, this was a woman one, but why cover them up? You know, I don't know. Well, we know it is, it is not unusual for some people to dislike or disagree with what they see in contemporary art. We're glad that our members and visitors have had the opportunity to debate this, this exhibition and to feed back their thoughts, which shows that our exhibition has been successful in drawing attention to the way our collections are presented and for highlighting the history of this important property. Uh, We are always looking at ways in which we can bring the history and stories of our places to life for visitors. Uh, And your feedback about the exhibition will help inform and shape our plans. Conservation remains at the heart of what we do. And thanks to the support of our members and donors, we are spending more than ever before on conservation work. Part of conservation, however, involves understanding and communicating why these places are important to protect so that the future generations will continue to care for them. I hope this is helpful and thank you for your support. 
that's a sort of a diplomatic response. But basically, yeah, it, 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 to me, I don't care how you couch it, it was basically a display of sexism, wasn't it? And they, the feminists are getting in everywhere. It's just incredible. I, I just find it astonishing. I think it's some like a, it's like 92% of Americans now, re, you know, don't call themselves feminists or reject it. You know, it's kind of interesting. There's a similar figure over in Britain. They, they, I haven't seen the recent one, but there ain't only about 7% of, of women declare themselves to be feminists. And yet it's something like 18 five, eight or 90 percent believe in equality, which shows that women don't see, well, men as well, don't see uh, feminism as being about equality. And if you look at the way feminists have behaved in defending uh, you know, certain um, ideological beliefs, mainly those begin with the letter I, who are very anti-women the way they, they, um, they, they treat women, you know, and women can be enslaved and, and raped and if you're not, a, if you're a Kaffir and all kinds of, there's some terrible things. That, and feminists are totally silent about this. You know, they think, well, if you're a supporter of, um, if you're a supporter of women's rights and things like that, then surely you would, you know, you, you, you know, you'd be appalled by it. But it seems to me that the uh, feminists are more driven by their hatred of men than they are by their love of women. What do you think? Till next time, take care of yourself.